All right, so hey guys, it's Luca, and um, it's not, it's really like spring. It's spring in Washington, so that means that I find any excuse that I can to wear clothes like this because uh, we don't get a lot of warmth in our state. Um, I know I look super scrawny. I should like, I should cover myself, but I'm not going to. So uh, this is a video that I'm probably going to make a more formal video on, but I kind of want to talk about it kind of candidly right now, and that is... Um, uh, I've been thinking a lot, because uh, I've been dating a little bit more, about when when to disclose that you're trans to a person that you're seeing. Uh, and I think that this is an interesting topic because it doesn't, um, there's no real, there's no real guideline to, to do it. Like, you just kind of do it when you feel the most comfortable. Um, uh, there's a girl I'm currently talking to, like, within, like, the first maybe day or two that we, we talked, I disclosed that I was trans. But there are also other people that I talked to and have talked to that it took me a lot longer to tell them that I was trans. There are people that I have yet to tell that I'm trans. And um, and then, like I, for example, with my last relationship, I didn't come out for about two years um, into our relationship. And that was part of the process of me figuring out who I was. Um, but even after I had figured out who I was, I still kind of, you know, hesitated. Um, so, I don't know. I, I think that for me, honestly, it feels like you kind of do it. You kind of do it whenever you feel like you're ready to do it. Um, my, my first word of advice, honestly, um, my first word of advice is to only come out in a place where you feel safe. So sometimes that's with the person at like a bar. Other times it's when you're at home in your room and you're texting them on your phone. Um, yeah, um, yeah. So dating, dating while trans, I feel like is an interesting topic. Um, I don't have any like. Uh, I feel like okay. Sorry guys. Um, I feel like I I definitely don't have any experience like with same-sex dating while being trans um uh, i also don't have experience i have a little bit of experience but not much of dating within like the, the trans community um i personally at this point have only dated um at this point in my transition i've only dated cisgendered women so uh that is what I'm most experienced with, so that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, so, aside from my last girlfriend, I, the last girl that I came out to, um, it was really hard for me. I remember we were walking through a park um, in, in a city nearby where I live, and I remember it was so hard for me to say it. Um, not because I was ashamed of it, but because she was the first person um, since the beginning of my transition that I actually had to come out to, and it was so hard. I remember just being so nervous and just, like, couldn't spit it out. It took me, like, 30 minutes to say it. Um, and then after that girl, I, like, went, like, from that girl to uh, the next girl where I just came out within a few days. Um... I don't know what what do you guys think like what what's the biggest challenge when it comes to like dating while you're trans um it doesn't have to be that you're you're trans it could be you know um that you're nervous to hold hands for the first time because you have sweaty hands my hands are actually pretty naturally sweaty so that's actually something i'm pretty nervous about is sweating while dating yeah um anyway i think i'll, I'll definitely make a different topic i mean i'll make a different video on this topic more formal but it kind of hit me, and I just kind of wanted to spit out some ideas and uh, see what you guys think. Anyway, thanks for your time, guys. It's Luca. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.